If you want to learn more about implementing OSPF over GRE over IPsec, just sign up for our advanced Juno security course. For full details, just visit juniper.net slash courses. Now here's your learning bite. Hi, my name is Zach Gibbs, and I am a content developer within education services inside of Juniper Networks. And today we will be discussing the implementing OSPF over GRE over IPsec learning bite. All right, so at this point, you might be asking yourself, why use OSPF over GRE over IPsec? What's the point? The first major point is we want to secure traffic. We want to secure that OSPF traffic between the OSPF routers, and we want to secure the traffic between hosts. Now, you might be wondering, well, IPsec does that. So why do we need GRE? Well, Juniper supports routing protocols over route-based IPsec tunnels. Not all other vendors support this, so we have to use a GRE interface with a GRE tunnel and do our OSPF routing over that GRE tunnel. All right, so let's jump right to our example. First of all, we have user one on the left who needs to communicate with the FTP server on the right. Then user one is connected to SRX1, and we can see the IP addressing and interfaces associated with SRX1. Then SRX1 connects through the internet to a non-Juniper OSPF router, and we will need to have a GRE over IPsec VPN tunnel between those two routers because the non-Juniper router does not support routing over route-based VPNs. However, it does support routing over GRE tunnels and it's already configured for OSPF over GRE over IPsec. So what we're going to show today is how to configure SRX1, which is obviously a Junos device, to use OSPF over GRE over IPsec. And one last thing I want to point out here is the GRE information that we have here on the slide we are going to be using a local IP address of 10.5.5.1 the source of the tunnel will be 172.5.5.1 and the destination will be 172.5.5.2 so let's jump to the CLI here's the CLI we have SRX1 and user1 so the first thing we want to do is to configure the IPsec tunnel. We'll configure the ST0 interface to begin with and something I do want to point out here is that the ST0 interface will actually be the source of the GRE tunnel so we're going to use that same IP address. Then we'll configure the IKE phase 1 parameters. Just give it the compatible proposal set. Give it a pre-shared key that will match the other side. Here we're going to use Juniper-123, excuse me, Juniper-123 is what I need. Then we're going to configure the gateway. Then we'll set the policy or the gateway to use the policy we just created. Then we'll set the uh, remote address for the, the non-Juniper device. And finally we'll set the external interface. Gigi002 is going to be an external interface that we can see there in the diagram. And so we're done with that. Next, we need to uh, edit the IPsec parameters. We'll set a policy, call this IPsec-1, and we'll use the proposal set of compatible again. You know, this is a non junos device we're connecting to, so a compatible proposal set, or the compatible proposal set, will probably give us the best results. Then we'll configure a VPN. The first thing we'll do is set a bind interface. 
that ST0 interface we configured earlier. Then we'll set to establish tunnels immediately so we can see the tunnel come up right away. We don't want to be sitting waiting around. Then we'll set the IKE parameters. And that should take care of it for us. Then one last thing we don't want to forget is to edit the security zone that has that external interface. We can see the untrust zone there has interface Gigi002, which is our external interface we are using, but we do not have any host inbound traffic set in that zone. All right, so that should take care of that for us. Now we can commit the configuration, and that should bring up our IPsec tunnels. Oh, but wait, there's one other quick thing that I just forgot, that I just remembered, forgot to uh, put the ST0 interface into a zone, because without that, the ST0 interface can't process any of the IPsec type traffic, and the tunnel won't come up. All right, so now that we have that there, we should be able to commit this and get the tunnel to come up. Let's check out those uh, phase one security associations. And they're up, great. And phase two is up as well. That's exactly what we want to see. So uh, now let's take care of the uh, GRE portion of this. So first things first, let's configure that GRE interface. Configure the source. Configure the destination. Then set the actual address. So next, let's configure OSPF. We're configuring area zero. We want to put that GR interface inside OSPF. And then we do want to set the Gigi001 as passive so we can get that route into OSPF that is associated with Gigi001. And last but not least, we do need to put that interface, that GR interface, into a security zone. And we can just put that in the VPN zone along with the ST0 interface. And one last thing to remember, we have to allow OSPF inside that zone. So we'll commit that configuration now. All right, so let's check those OSPF adjacencies. And we're up. That's great. That's what we want to see. All right, so let's look at that route for that remote FTP server. See, we have that. And we do. We're getting that through OSPF. Awesome. Everything's looking great. So let's... Let's jump to user 1 to see what happens when we try to communicate with the FTP server. And this is less than awesome. Uh, this is actually not good at all. We, we know the remote side's configured correctly. I, I can guarantee that. And oh, we just got a destination unreachable. Ah, uh, that's not good. That's not good. Our SRX1's telling user 1 that something's wrong. Let's check OSPF again. Uh, things are in the full state there. Let's check that route again. Let's look at the detailed, you know, everything looks good as far as the route. Let's look at the detailed information. And something's a little strange here. See how it says up for 17 seconds? We've definitely had this configured for more than 17 seconds. Something's wrong. Let's let's look at this. Let's see what happens as that counts up. We see that the dead timer keeps getting refreshed. We're getting hellos. So, but something's definitely wrong. Obviously, we can't communicate. So let's keep looking at this. And, oh, did you look at that? The OSPF neighborship, the adjacency just went into the init state. That's that's a bad sign. And it's back to the full state. And we're up again. We, we have a flapping OSPF adjacency. That would definitely cause our problems. And so uh, what's going on here, you know, just to cut to the chase, is we have a, a, a flapping OSPF adjacency. And that can be caused by a route recursion lookup happening. And so if we look at the route again, uh, let's look at the route for the remote side of the IPsec tunnel. We see that it's pointing through OSPF right now. That's a bad sign. So we're learning the endpoint of the IPsec tunnel through the GRE tunnel, which is using the IPsec tunnel. And so if we look at this for a little longer, we're going to see things flap. Give it a few more seconds. We'll see it switch back from the GRE interface through OSPF. Because basically what's happening here is the remote side is sharing that route and then passing along through OSPF, which is a very bad thing to be doing. It should just be a few more seconds here. And see, look, it flipped over. 
So now we're using the default routes. And so how do you overcome this problem? Well, it's a very simple way to do it. What you need to do here is just set up a static route slash 32 for that IPsec tunnel endpoint. Let's commit that configuration. That should take care of our recursion problems that we're having. And you see we're using that slash 32 route now. And that's, that's because the longest match always wins. So right now we're going to be receiving uh, a route for that, a slash 24, uh, through OSPF. We're just going to ignore that. And then we're going to have our default route. And then we're going to have the slash 32, which is the longest match. So that's always going to win there. And if we look at our OSPF neighbors, in the full state let's look at detail information and we've been up for 30 seconds and that's okay but remember it was at about 40 seconds that we lost the adjacency you know it we started having that route recursion problem and see we're 42 so looking good 44 awesome so let's let's jump over to that user see what's happening and we have communication that's exactly what we, what we want happening we have things working as it should and so one last test I do want to show here do a rapid ping just to show traffic moving through the tunnels Let's look at the IPsec statistics. We can see that we do have traffic entering and exiting the IPsec tunnel on SRX1. That's awesome. Then as one final verification, we can do the run monitor interface traffic command. And we can see what's going on here. We can see that there's traffic entering, exiting the GR interface there. So it's going through the GRE tunnel. That's awesome. We can see it's going through the ST0 interface. That's awesome as well. That means it's going through the IPsec tunnel. Although we already verified the IPsec tunnels, traffic's going through that with the last command. And then we can see that traffic is going through over that those physical interfaces of, of Gigi001 and Gigi002. And so this is functioning. We have OSPF running over GRE and it's going through IPsec. So that does bring us to the end of this learning bite. And in this learning bite, we discussed OSPF over GRE over IPsec. And then we demonstrated a scenario in which we implemented OSPF over GRE over IPsec. And so I hope that this learning bite is useful for you in your day to day work. And as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses, learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths, Juniper Networks certification program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence, and the training community. From forums to social media, join the discussion.